You work with Judy Huxtable in the film. Had you worked with her before on any production? No, I had no, no, I had not uh, come across her before. But she was nice to work with. Yeah, she was lovely, a very nice person, and um, very beautiful girl, and uh, and she was uh, yeah, she was she was charming. She'd been in some films beforehand, hadn't she? Yeah, she, I think she'd uh, yeah she done some other stuff. I'm not sure what it was, but uh, she'd done some films before. And she later went on to marry Peter Cook, the satirist. Yeah, yeah, she did. Yeah. Which was a bit of a roller coaster, I believe, but I have no idea. Yeah. I have no idea, but um, she's still around, but yeah, uh, you well, haven't if seen her. If she ever watches this, I, I wish her wish her well. I also rem remember remember her. You know, she had a um, she had a fantastic. Um, I think uh, some American cars and. Yeah, she was a top model as well, I think. Yeah. So, um, and an actress. Yeah, she was a beautiful girl. Um, now, during the production, there was um, a, a little part where you're cycling along, but then the shot changes and you have a stunt double. What was the reason for that? Um, well, I just think it was a little, little um, sort of frippery, really, but um, they, a little amusing in. I mean the the stunt guy. I forgot, but he was quite famous in France, um, and uh, he used to work on the south of France in Cannes and Nice uh, on the seafront there, doing his trick cycling. And um, I always remember they that he hadn't got the right coloured shoes, and they gave him some paint. And there was a policeman there, and um, he unicycled up to the policeman and painted his boots yellow before he could do anything. <laughs> which was quite funny and um, yeah at one point he he moves his the wheel across the car so the, the gag was that you cycled up to the car but then suddenly the, the, the cycle became out. two parts and it became two parts right yeah. it was wasn't you that was doing that then. No, they but I think they probably did quite a few more shots with him uh, uh, but they weren't right. in the film so, just uh, the one yeah was... because it seemed like a long way to you know to come all the way from France just to do that yeah but, um, it's I a good, funny little visual joke. Yeah, exactly. Joke. Yeah, yeah. He was, uh, yeah. And what, what, what did you wear in the... You, you didn't know what you were going to wear for the production until you turned up, is that right? Oh, yeah. They just... Um, yeah, they hadn't had a chance to do any costume or anything. Um, yeah, they put me all in yellow, which... Um, I, it was fine. <laughs> but, uh, I was a bit embarrassed to begin with because it was... It was um, just a bit bizarre to be all dressed in yellow, but um, uh, it works in the film. Yeah, the whole theme good. of the film is it's got this sort of yellowy theme to it. I think. There's also a French kind of style. Where did that come from? Well, um, I mean, it was a sort of copy of a, a very, very good French film called Les Parapluies de Cherbourg, with I think Catherine Deneuve, but I may be wrong. But um, she sang. It was a love story, and she uh, it was all singing in that. So, um, and they called it Les Bicyclettes de Belle Size, after the Engelbert Humperdinck song, I suppose. Sure. Which, which is was written by Les Reed and Barry Mason, who wrote the um, who wrote the score for this. Right. Who, who wrote all the songs for this? So, when with the shots where you're singing, that was being played back as you cycle along, is that right? Yeah, that's right. I mean, the, the, that one going down Hampstead High Street, um, there was a big truck in front of me blaring it with huge speakers, blaring it out, and I was going along trying to <laughs> trying to mime to it. But we did it, you know, and, um, yeah, so, uh, and, yeah, and the, the Julie song, yeah, all the song, you know, we just, just had to mime to them. Right. Um, how did the film go out? Was was how was it presented at the cinemas? It was well. It went out as a short film with um, I've got it here somewhere. Um, oh yeah, here. Yeah. It went out as um, uh, a short film accompanying uh, the sort of main feature, which used to happen a lot in those days. Uh, it went out with a twisted nerve, but. That was the second time it went out because it was so popular. It originally went out with The Collector, a uh, Terence Stamp film, which was a, um, a John Foles novel. And um, uh, yeah, it 
it went out of that. And then one, a year later, I was um, doing a film called Cromwell. And I was playing Cromwell's son, Richard, he was played by Richard Harris. And um, Richard Harris um, invited me to go to San Sebastian with him. We were filming in Spain uh, for the weekend and uh, have a weekend uh, away. And we went to San Sebastian and the hotel that we were staying in, um, there was a short film festival on. And it was pure coincidence that Les Bicyclettes de Belsize was one of the entries in the film competition. And um, when we arrived in the hotel, people kept coming up to me saying, oh, I th it's marvellous, fantastic, I saw your film. And I was totally, uh, you know, I just had no idea. And um, I remember going to have a few drinks with the judges, but I couldn't um, persuade them to give it the first prize. And it didn't win, but uh, it was just a funny coincidence. Yeah, the film came out a long time ago initially, and then it was perhaps a little bit neglected, but then Channel 4 started showing it in the 80s and 90s. I yeah, believe. a lot of people seem to see it from there and have memories of it from, yeah. from there. And now it's out on, on DVD, but what do you think it is about the film that people love? Well, I suppose the innocence of it, and it's charming, and it's just a nice, it's a love story without any complications. And that's what people like. Uh, it's simple. They like the simplicity of it. And it's well shot and it looks pretty and the songs are nice. So it's got a lot of things going for it. I mean, it's maybe a little bit corny, but it's, it's, it's popularity is, uh, you know, it's, that's what it, it's very popular. So, yeah. Anthony May, thank you very much for agreeing to this interview. <laughs> Pleasure.